Robert Darrell Pollock, who is the chair of the Belmont Public Library Association, and Wendy Cinnamon, who is the director of the library. Well, we're here on a great day. Uh, tell us why we're here. We're here this evening to officially open our newly renovated lower level of the Belmont Public Library. Awesome. And what kind of uh, renovations uh, took place? So we have a new meeting room, we have a new washroom set in down there, um, storage area and activity space. What was the total cost of this project? We uh, put in, or all of the parties together put in about $140,000, Gord. Um, about $67,000 of that came from the Columbia Basin Trust through the Community Initiatives Program, which of course is, uh, indicates the support in the community for this type of project. Um, we have a automated chairlift uh, put in. Uh, that came through some funding from the federal government's Enabling Accessibility Grant Program. That was $40,000. And then there was an additional $5,000 from the Regional District to Fraser Fort George. $3,000 from the Belmont Community Forest here in town, and then the library contributed approximately $25,000 of their funds as well. Oh, that's awesome, a lot of partners involved. It's certainly a, a lot more accessible facility than it was a few years ago. You've, you've got new doors that are easier to open in, uh, in the front as it is, but beyond that you've got uh, automatic opening doors, uh, I believe in three areas, is that right? Um, the en yes, three areas, the entry to the back area, the entry into the library, and the entry to the lower level. Why was uh, accessibility and making the library more accessible important to you? Oh, we want to remove any barriers for anybody who um, has any issues. We want them to be able to attend any of the programs or events. We want it to be inclusive to everyone in our community. Mm -hmm. That's a great project. It looks beautiful. Uh, were there any local contractors involved in the work? Uh, yeah, our main contractor was Ian Wolsey. Um, he did most of the renovation work. And then Tom Jamin, one of the local carpenters in town, built us a magnificent um, custom-built boardroom table. And now let's talk about the functionality, because obviously it's a beautiful space and it's a, it's a functional space from, from the point of view of meetings and open space. But from the library, what does it give you as a, as a librarian? Uh, <laughs> in terms of the functionality of, this, of the, the storage, etc. Oh yes, as, a, as, as, as part of the library there's a lot more storage and, as, and for the community there's a lot more use because there's a separate entrance now. The library doesn't have to be open for people to be able to access that space. So we do have local groups using that space now. Oh, that's great to know. And I see that uh, one of the, the uh, community groups that ha has space down there is the uh, Vailmont Museum. They have uh, archives down there? Yes, they've had the archives down there for quite a while. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And, and so... Uh, is there a charge for people who want to use the facilities? For nonprofit groups, there is no charge. Okay. And uh, they can use it at any time after the library is closed, or even on days that the library is closed. You say? Well, if the schedule allows, then yes, <laughs> it's starting to get quite busy down there. Well, let's talk about that because this is the official opening day, but uh, I understand it's been kind of soft open for a while. And and uh, what's the usage been like? Um, we have, do you want to know who's using it? We have just how often and, and what is it, is it meeting your expectations? Oh yeah, it's exceeded the expectations actually. Some days we have multiple people using it and we're having, having trouble sometimes scheduling things in mm. because it's being used so much. Oh, isn't that great? Mm -hmm. So what's next? I mean, you've got, uh, you've got plans on the horizon. What do you hope to do next? Well, uh, similar to what's happened out of McBride, um, it would be marvelous to have a larger, uh, a much larger uh, premise for the library here. Um, hopefully, as the town develops over the next few years, mm -hmm. um, the village will include an expanded library in their growth plans as they plan for the um, expand or the growth of town as well as the required expansion of um, civic facilities in town. So the, the plans that you had on, on the books for the expansion, are they kind of on hold for now? Uh, yep, we need a whole bunch of money to make any of that happen. Um, but the renovations that we've just did all fit in with that um, overall plan for an expansion of the library. Where's my bottle of champagne to smash against it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very happy uh, to see everyone out this evening, and I'm also very happy to um, inaugurate or open the uh, new accessibility lift here at the Belmont Public Library. Um, the funding for this lift came from the federal government's Enabling Accessibility Grant Program, um, and it's wonderful to have uh, 
a lift such as this here in the library to um, allow all of our patrons to participate in the activities that will be going on in the lower part of the library. So um, I invite Wendy, our librarian, and Judy Holman to join me in officially opening the accessibility lift. Yay! <laughs> again everybody um, thank you all for coming out for the grand opening of the newly renovated lower level of the Belmont Public Library um, unfortunately you're gonna have to wait a few minutes before we get into the goodies the treats and all of that uh, I just have to say a few words about the renovation project and <laughs> give out a lot of thank yous to everybody involved So first, just a tiny little bit of history. Um, so the library moved on to this site back in 1988. Um, a local log builder, um, unknown to myself, um, built the building, uh, mostly funded through an Expo 86 legacy grant um, on land that is owned here by the village of Elmont. Um, this is the fifth location of the library um, and similar to the medical clinic here in town, the original location of the library was in somebody's home, I've been told. So there's a few people to thank. Um, first of all, our library staff, uh, Wendy, Holly, Ellie and Giovanna, um, our library board, myself, uh, Daryl Pollock, as well as Maureen Brownlee, Paul Johnson, Jan, uh, Kim, Linda, Terry, and Marion, and the local contractors who did all of this work. They're both here um, today. If you don't know, that's Ian Wolseley over there standing beside his lovely wife, Barb, <laughs> and Tom Jamin in the back standing beside his partner, Peggy, who just snuck out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to them for all the wonderful work that they did here on the project. So there was a whole lot of work uh, done here. I don't know how many of you were familiar with the layout of the, the library lower level previously. Um, those of you who aren't aware of it, um, there's only about three of you who would be able to see me right now if we were in the library a year ago. There was a center dividing wall that ran the full length of the room. Um, this is the pillar of it. Um, and so that wall was removed. Um, the entryway that we just came down, that is all new. Um, there used to be a very, very scary um, <laughs> set of stairs um, coming down to the lower level um, uh, over in that corner. You can see where they went down upstairs. There's a chunk of tile on the floor uh, in amongst the carpeting. So all of that was done. Um, this wall to my left um, is the, is one wall of the conference meeting room in there. You should take a chance to go in there and look in there. It's a very, very nice room. Um, some nice storage has been added and there's a spectacular um, custom built table that Tom Jamin built for us, um, made from local wood. Um, it's very, very pretty. Um, the storage cabinets that you can see off to that side against the wall, all of that is new. Um, there's a storage room that the table and chairs just came out of. As well, there's a storage um, room outside as well for um, our winter stuff and our gardening stuff and all of that. Um, we hadn't thought about that in the plans, but thankfully as he was doing the work, Ian realized that there was a lot of wasted space there and said, hey, do you guys want some storage room? And everyone said, yeah, more storage, more storage. So that turned out really, really well. Um, 
the flooring in here is all brand new, of course, um, as well as the paint. And as I mentioned, there's a gorgeous custom-built uh, table in the conference meeting room. There's also a whole bunch of new furnishings and electronics. Um, there's a very nice set of uh, armchairs here. This rug is new. Um, the chairs that most of you are sitting on are all new. There's some uh, four folding tables, I believe, that go along with the chairs. Um, uh, the new chairs in the conference room, this wonderful big screen TV, um, the little laptop computer that's uh, displaying all of this stuff, the camera that's filming all of us right now, <laughs> that's all new. And upstairs in what I've taken to calling the cozy corner, um, the armchairs and the table as well as the bistro table and stools that are up there are all um, new as part of this whole project. So how did we pay for all of this? Well, through the hard work of the library staff and the support of the community, um, we received funding from several different organizations. So um, the, a big chunk of the funding came through the CVT Community Initiatives Program, um, $67,000, almost half of the project. Um, the uh, lift was paid for through the Federal Enabling Accessibility Grant Program. Uh, that was a $40,000 grant. Um, as well, the regional district and the Belmont Community Forest contributed some funding, and then the library itself um, contributed $25,000 towards this project. So a total of $140,000 went into the renovations here, so it was a, uh, a sizable project. And so how is the lower level being used? Well, our library patrons come down here on a regular basis. Um, it's a nice place for uh, people with their laptops who are using the library's internet, um, they come down here and work in a nice quiet area. Um, we have people come in to do online exams and that type of thing. They're doing that in the meeting room now. Um, and yeah, so they can, just our patrons are using it. We do library functions down here. Um, we have a book club that meets regularly. Sometimes we stay upstairs, sometimes we come down here. Um, um, in a, in 15 minutes, we'll be having one of our armchair travels presentations down here. Um, uh, we have arranged now for legal um, Skype teleconferencing, so if anyone needs to spend 15 minutes um, discussing something with a lawyer, that's something that the library is able to do now as well. Um, local groups and organizations have started using the space. Um, it's already being used quite heavily. Um, if any of you are involved with a not-profit, or sorry, a not-for-profit organization and uh, need a place to meet or put on an event, um, you know, you can consider using the library space. So the Sparks and Brownies and Guides meet here um, every week. Uh, every Sunday, the Crafty Stitchers are here. Um, as well, every Sunday, the Vailmont Community Cheap, sorry, Cheap, the Vailmont Community Church meets here, and there's other various nonprofit organizations that are uh, coming here to, um, to basically to have their board meetings here and that type of thing. So the library is already getting a lot of use. Um, if you do want to use the space, just call the library. They have a schedule and can tell you, you know, if someone's already using it or, um, or uh, whether it's available at the time you're interested in. Presentation. And once again, thank you all very, very much for coming out. It's nice to see a, a good group out here this evening supporting the library. Enjoy it. This is Ruby, who's going to tell us. Hey, Ruby! going to tell us all about East Africa this evening. Mm -hmm. I know, the photo's a bit misleading. <laughs> um, so for those of you who don't know me, I'm Ruby. I grew up in the valley and left for a bit and came back because I loved it here. Um, I like to travel a lot and I like to bring my daughter on most of my trips. <laughs> she wasn't alive for this one, otherwise she probably would have come. <laughs> but We're open to all kinds of ideas and as long as it's a non-profit event and free to the public. Mm -hmm. sure.
And if, if anyone has any ideas or suggestions about any type of a, a small event that they would like to put on, um, you know, please contact the library and let them know and see if it's something we can do. I myself have a bit of an interest in animation and I'm planning on putting on a little national film board animation evening showing a whole bunch of the classic um, cartoons from the national film board. Wendy's made sure that the cat came back will be part of that. <laughs> yeah, it's opened opportunities for library programs to happen down there like armchair or travel and um, you know we've kicked around the idea of doing documentaries and different things like that so it's well, definitely made the space more usable and opened more possibilities for us. Well, that's great well congratulations it looks wonderful I'm sure people are going to enjoy it and uh, shortly we'll be uh, cutting the ribbons and, and going on for that so uh, congratulations on the project and uh, on to bigger and better things. Yep. Thank Thanks you very much. Very. <laughs>